All right, dear Bill, I need some advice. I'm 30 years old, and I've been seeing this lady um, for the past four months, and things have been getting uh, have gotten pretty serious. I'm already having dinner at her parents' house frequently. Oh, Jesus. Going to her family parties. Oh, Jesus. And spending the holidays together. Jesus Christ. I'm practically part of the family already. To use her father's words, and to be honest, I'm cool with it. Um, I love this girl. She's great. All right, so what's the problem? Um, so, so great, in fact, we decided to do New, York, New Year's in Palm Beach together at her cousin's place. Now he finally writes, oh, Jesus. All right, now what's going to happen? See, I like some of these, these, these letters. They set him up like a great movie. Like he set this up like this is perfect. This is like a Norman <laughs> Rockwell parent. Yeah. The parent, parent, painting. Everything's going great. Now all of a sudden he's going to New Year's in Palm Beach together at a cousin's place. What, why? what could possibly go yes, wrong? Uh, this, is, this is very well written. This guy gets a star. Um, anyway, so we go out the night before New Year's. There's a whole group of us. And I head off to take a piss. I come back and see my girl dancing and making out with some other guy oh, who shit. wasn't a member of our group. Oh. Well, who gives a shit even if he was a member of the group? It's another guy. Okay. I'm obviously flummoxed. <laughs> this educated son of a bitch. I decided to interrupt <laughs> their little makeout session on the dance floor. It would have continued unabated if I hadn't stepped in. So I push the guy aside, hand her back her purse. Yes, I was carrying her purse for her. Ouch. It fit into my back pocket in case you're wondering. I was wondering. <laughs> and I leave the bar. The bar is called the Cucina. Yeah, kitchen, right? Right? I think so. Yeah. I am a little Spanish right there. I am outside just uh, beside myself with anger, and she doesn't follow me out. I go back to her cousin's place and go to bed. Around 3 a.m., the texts come in. Nothing happened. I didn't do anything, <laughs> etc. <laughs> she finally cops to it. And just in her defense, uh, she says, I'm just not used to having a boyfriend. And I don't think you know how drunk I was. So, Happy New Year's. This was in a text message? No, 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 no. Oh. Um. No, uh, no, when she when she showed up to him, she says oh, to him, she okay. finally just said, "Look, I'm just, she yeah, fine. I fucked the guy. I'm just not used to having a boyfriend, okay? Wow. And I don't think you realized how drunk I was. <laughs> wow. Yes. See, um, and you can be that honest. You know what I mean? I could never be that honest with you because you could throw a vase at me, and then the cops would uh, arrest me for breaking the vase with my forehead. <laughs> 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 Anyways, he go uh, he goes. Should I chalk this up to a dumb, drunk mistake and patch things up? No, no. I've been ha I, I'm having trouble being objective about this. This has really got me fucked up and hurting. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that was that was a ridiculous level of acting out. Yeah, you on, on not, her part. Not, that, that's 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 crazy. That is absolutely that is crazy. That's some wacky stuff. That's wacky. That's <laughs> some real wacky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he, he, she she made out with a guy right in front of you. He knows. What are you talking about? He knows. About? He knows what he's supposed to. He's fucking stunned. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's pretty stunning. We're we're in the goddamn trauma unit right now, and you're going. You stepped on a landmine. Yeah. Move I'm on, you, sweetheart. No. Move yeah. on. Move no, on. No, that is. Uh, Retain some dignity and yes. uh, and walk away. You basically just imagine if you discovered that 17 years in, married with four kids. That half look like you and half look like this should have been stripper. All right? Um, you dodged a bullet. And, yeah, it's going to hurt. And that's really what that really is, dude, is uh, aside from your feelings, that's your fucking manhood being hurt right there. And you don't as, have as to guys, look at it objectively. You know, let me finish for oh. fuck's sakes. <laughs> as a guy, that, that shit's not supposed to happen, right? Because you're supposed to put it on them and they're supposed to be mesmerized by your dick. And the reality is, is that's not what it's like. Yeah. And when you discover that, that's, that's a tough day. Uh, yeah, but you, know? you don't have to look and at it objectively. And then you never trust those oh broads God. again. <laughs> you never trust them again. No. And it's the safest place you can be. No. Number three. <laughs> but don't look at it Shut objectively. It last Saturday. It was a shitty, horrible thing that happened, and you should be feeling all of those feelings, including anger. So, But just walk away. It's yeah, over. Yeah, that's what he should do is just walk away. Although I would be tempted to pull a female move and get some revenge, and I would tell her dad, you know, 
What do you he, know what, what a what, slut you raised? Do you know what a <laughs> slut you're in love with? That's half your DNA. Did she get that from your fucking wife? No, 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 no. No, yeah, there's yeah, don't no do need that. to go. There's no need no, to No, no, cuz then, cause then he'll look like an it. asshole and then she, he'll understand why she did it. I'm trying to inflict the most pain here. Ah, walk away. 